Big Haunted Travel Adventure. You get your passport. Bam! What's up, folks? Good morning. It's Carlton with Carlton's Travel Adventures. Got my Colombian jersey on today. The 24th is the big day in Colombia, and I think tours close early. Uh, it's like the 25th for us. And so I'm heading down, downtown right now, Les Central, pick up my shoes. I told you about it, the fact that I ordered some shoes, special made because I have a hard time finding shoes. Uh, people's feet here are pretty narrow, I think. And I wear a nine and a half, nine and a half to 10 triple E, it's a wide uh, feet. And so they told me the shoe is ready. It's been an ordeal. I'll tell you more about the ordeal I'm going through with this thing. Um, might end up being a bad deal for me. But if, if, if it's a bad deal, you write it off as an experience, right? Like I told you before, I ordered shoes in Houston one time and it came out perfect. This time it's not working out great. I've been down there four times for these shoes and it's a long story. When I come back, I'll tell you more about it, okay? But they told me it's ready. Um, hopefully I can do some videos of the um, the process, I probably won't want to do it. Pretty dumpy spot, but they make shoes. And uh, they measured my foot. You know, I got videos of that when they first measured my foot, but I looked down and said, damn, I got one messed up toe. So I'm not gonna show it. <laughs> but the lady measured my foot, you know, so it could be perfect. First time she called me back, the first pair, I ordered two pairs, you know, 160, 160 per pair. 1,000, 1,000 pesos per pier. Uh, it's like 50, 45 bucks per pier. So, first time she told me one is ready, it was tight as anything. Beautiful shoes, I love it. I'll show you pictures of it, but it was tight as anything, man. I'm saying, this defeat the purpose. I want you to make me the shoes because I don't want it to be tight. I can buy tight shoes in the store, <laughs> you know? So, she so probably tried to put a little machine in it to stretch it, didn't work, so they were gonna remake that one. Second one they gave me uh, it was a darker color, uh, what do you call it, leather, real dark color leather, uh, brown. And uh, it has a white spot on it, on the leather. You have this dark brown leather with this white spot that says it's an na old natural color of the leather. I'm like, no, 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 I don't, I'm not wearing that, you know. Man, not sure they understood me the last time I was there, two weeks ago. Let me go back and see, they said both ready now. They remade the first one, so it's whiter. And the second one, the brown one, the second one, they said they stretched it out a little bit. That was also a little tight, but not as tight. So they stretched it out. And I had to try to talk to her about that spot on my leather. It's dark brown, you have a white spot. Not in the back or in the side, it's on the top of the shoes, you know. Uh, she sent me a, a voice mess text last night, so I told me she's ready to come pick it up before, before 10.30, which is, ooh, I gotta go. But my buddy says she said something about it's natural leather, like the natural color of the leather. I never buy any shoes like that with a big white, with a, probably about a half inch white spot on it, or quarter inch white spot. I get a video for it. I gotta go now, because they close early, all right? Later. This is the spot I'm at, uh, where they have the leather shoes. This is all leather. Down here is leather too, the material. So it's all over. Oh, it's here? Okay. Okay. Yeah, must have this. Yes, in the... Yes, in the... Oh, yeah, ultra. This one. This one. And this one. And this one. Okay. And this one, ultra. Bueno. It's, it's bien? Uh. So, guys, I've always had a problem with uh, my white foot. I can't find shoes to fit me, right? So I decided to come down and look, search around Medellin so I can find somewhere to make my shoes perfect to fit me. See what it cost me. So I finally found some place here. I'll tell you where it is in a minute. When it, once they once it, uh, make the shoes, they, they uh, show me the leather. It's real leather. They marked my foot up. Uh, it's going to take me two weeks to get the shoes. I pay half up front. It cost me 160,000 pesos per shoe. That's about 50 bucks. Not bad for real leather shoes. They have real leather. It's not plastic. They show me the leather. And uh, probably it costs a lot more in the store. So it's guaranteed to fit right, they said. So let you know it comes out in two weeks, all right? Okay, so I got my two pair of shoes. 160,000 pesos each. You know, it's not perfect, but they worked on them a little bit, stretched them out. 
I remade the first one, the light brown one, and it's a lot, lot better. It's a little, little tight, not a lot better. So uh, I'm satisfied. I'm, uh, you know, where I'm, where I'm stretching them out a little bit, all right? So overall, it wasn't too bad. Uh, like, like 50 bucks or 45 bucks per pair of shoes, that's, that's uh, fit me a lot better than going to the store. I couldn't find them in the store, you know? All right, this place is all about leather. It's all leather stuff. They make shoes here, a lot of shoes. So if you want to come down and check it out, you know. Leather. So check it out and you uh, buy your own pair of shoes and you're all good, all right? Hope it helps a little bit. So let's talk about my shoes, my custom made shoes. You know, I keep it real here. Good or bad, I keep it real. People like about my channel, you know? So, I told you they, they remade this, the, the light pair of shoes, made it over again, second time. And I picked them both up, brought them home, thought I was, I was cool, slightly tight, I said I can deal with it. But I wore them, you know, one day, around the house and so forth, just still didn't feel right, because I said it shouldn't be this tight for custom made. You know what I mean? It's custom made, it shouldn't be this tight. That's when I had in Houston, custom made like 350 for it. It was not tight, but custom made, it shouldn't be tight. So this is what I did, right? So I, I just, something bothered me, bothered me, bothered me. I said, wait a minute, I paid money for these shoes, it's still not right. So I figured out what the problem was, right? They're cutting the angle of the shoes, the tip, too tight. When you have wide feet, you gotta cut them wider. You know, you can make the circle wider. Look at these two shoe, pair of shoes that I'm going to bring to show them, right? Pictures. Also going to bring a pair of shoes that fits me perfectly and show them the angle of the tip. It can't be that sharp. That's why your foot get crushed in the middle because it's too sharp. So I said to myself, let me write a note and send it to, give it to the, talk to the person who makes the shoes. I'm going to talk to the lady anymore. She doesn't know what she's doing, right? Talk to the person, the guys who make the shoes. So I told them, look, I'm coming over. Let me know if the guys who make the shoes are in that office and when they're in. They said, okay, they're, they're in, you know, 26, they're in. No problem. I said, okay. So I wrote a note. So these probably guys certainly don't speak English. What a note. And I said, basically, you know, uh, first thing I said, I don't want to speak to the, guy, the lady anymore. I'm going to speak to the guys who make the shoes. You know, that was going to give it to her or, or somebody, right? Then I went to lay out the problem with the shoes, what they're doing wrong, right? With the angle, so forth. And I also told him, look, the lady is very nice. Senorita is muy boy, and I'm a, I've got a word, very nice and friendly, but she doesn't know how to accurately measure somebody's foot. She shouldn't have this problem like this, you know? So I sat down with a guy, I took a note to him, gave it, gave it, as she came, as I walked in the store, she came to me and I said, Sorry, I don't want to speak to you. I'm not being rude. I said, I want to speak to the guys who make the shoes. Show me the guys who make the shoes. I don't want to use you again. The shoes doesn't fit. I said, no, I don't want to talk to you. Very nice about it. Hugged her. But I said, I just want to talk to the guy. He said, okay. They're over there in the side. Two guys. He said, which one? I said, which one make the shoes? He said, both. They both make the shoes. Different parts. I said, okay. I didn't know. He said, what do you want? I said, no, read a note. And I'm going to read a note to himself. Read a note aloud to everybody, you know. <laughs> you know, and he said, "Well, the person who, you know, makes the shoes should be the one that measures." He wrote it, and he went. And he said, "The lady is very nice, but she doesn't know how to measure the foot." <laughs> I said, "Oh shit!" <laughs> she was pretty cool about it. She didn't just sat there and listen, you know. And I explained the angle. The angle is too sharp. Look at the shoes I have right here. I brought for you to clean, you know. And look at the shoes I have at home. Look at the angle, the tip. You're making the angles too sharp. You know, it need to be, the foot's wide up front, it's wide. You need to be short, a, a wider angle, a more circular, not the sharp, you know. Then he said, oh, I see, I see, I got it, I got it. I said, do you see what I'm talking about? He said, yeah, yeah, I understand. I took my, I took my shoe, shoes off, put my foot on the floor. I said, see that? It's wide, it's really wide. You can't make the angle so sharp, sharp. You're gonna crush my foot, see? He said, yeah, yeah, I understand. 
In the end, yes, he said, yes, I understand. See, you want to mention my shooting foot again? He said, no, 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 I understand, I understand. It has to be wider. Yeah, I understand, I understand. You know, he said, okay. So I make the shoes again, all right? Last chance. This is going to make the third time they're going to make the light brown pair of shoes, the third time. He said, you want to measure my foot? You sure? No, 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 I understand, I understand. So he said that. So I'm not sure if it's going to charge me more or what, but, you know, I've got to have a good pair of shoes. I, if I walk around this place so much, I've got to have a good pair of shoes. That's vital. That's very important to me. Okay, got to be comfortable. So like I said, in about two weeks, I think it's January the 8th, both will be ready. So hopefully they are good the final time, and that's it. I gave him a pair of shoes I had before that worked fits perfectly, but the thread was kind of pulling up. I said, go ahead and uh, sew that thread back in and clean the shoes, make it look new when you're done, you know? Clean it up, you know, polish it, whatever you got to do. I said, okay, okay. So they charged me 20000 for that. Kind of steep side, you know, probably get a guy in the street to do it for, for 2000 <laughs> you know? But I wanted him to work on the other pair of shoes, so I give him extra business, you know? And and, uh, and and plus, I need to, to sew that leather. The one, the one spot that's kind of, twice kind of lifting up. So, you know, look, I don't mind spending good money on a good pair of shoes. If it's going to, you know, make me comfortable all day. So that's my ordeal, man. So on the 8th, I'll pick him up again. I'm sure it's going to be good because you saw what I'm talking about with the angle being a lot sharper because they're triple E, they're wide. Okay? So that's my ordeal with shoes, man. I, I'm just... I could have, could have just told you they fit and move on, but I got I, I shoot a straight. I'm a straight shooter. All right? You got normal foot, you're good. These guys will make you a pair of shoes that looks beautiful, beautiful leather for 160,000 pesos. Some guys say, oh, you paid too much. I always somebody rubbing in their mouth, you're paying too much. That's like 45 bucks for really soft, beautiful leather, not pleather. All right? I'm good with that. I'm happy with that. You know? So... That's my ordeal with the shoes, all right? If you want to know where it is, let me know. I'll tell you, you know, and tell, you, tell her, just tell them uh, Carlton, the American uh, 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 man sent you, and they probably give you a discount or something. More I, send, I told him I'd send him more business if you do a good job, all right? Don't forget to like. Talk to you later. Happy holidays.